course, here we are, the city of San Jose, the Santa Clara Valley Water District. You know, they put these signs up. I don't say anything except, you know, no prohibiting. So they spend $400,000. Why don't they get to clean up nothing? They move the problem from one area to the next, but then both the city and Santa Clara Valley Water District are riddled with lawsuits and theft, tax fraud. Um, I can guarantee you we have proof of uh, CEO and IT in uh, the Santa Clara Valley Water District. But both the city of San Jose and Santa Clara Valley Water District, you know, they just, like this guy's got a house over there, which is nice. And there's another place over here, it's getting hard to see. But you guys just, you know, let them live. Um, you know, at least he's got a nice walkway. Um, but quit chasing them off. Spend the money. Do something fruitful. Um, now, you know, you sent your volunteers down here, but they left half the stuff. Um, so why don't you just make an area for them, put some dumpsters, some toilets, and some facilities, and let, the, let them police themselves, or the ones that don't police themselves have the security. You'll spend way less than $400,000 a year. You know, you, you know, I don't mind these people living out here, um, but obviously what you're doing is, is wrong. It doesn't work. You know, you're just throwing money and wasting it. You know, I mean, I sort of dig that these people are tearing up uh, the riverways or the creeks. Um, you know, I'm just pointing out a message to you. You guys have no concept of what you're doing. You know, highly paid stupid people unfortunately uh, you waste a lot of money now what happens this is right next to Zoe's house you know uh, we've got crime cars everything because you moved the problem from Kelly Park down to here now you want to chase them away from from uh, you want to chase them away from the airport Jesus Mr. Reed Mr. Goldie Maybe you shouldn't just throw money at the problem and think about it, you know? Think about your bomb doors and your wasted boardroom money and uh, earpieces for $5,000. Uh, your soldiers that lie. Um, anyway, Santa Clara Valley Water District will be falling apart soon enough. But I think you all need a clue in what you're doing. You have no concept. No concept of reality. It's just, let's throw these people out. Let's throw these people out and let them do whatever. Why don't you take care of them? You know, make this area back here. Make this area, you know, send the facilities here. Put some porta potties up. Give them some dumpsters. You know, think. Think. I'm a thinker. But you guys don't like thinkers. That's why you throw them out. Because people that don't that think aren't good. It's sort of like that for most governments. But anyway, I'm going to get you some more pictures. I'm not going to shut up uh, until the people that uh, frauded uh, the Santa Clara Valley Water District and actually the city of San Jose is now committing fraud you know, with this uh, homelessness issue. So... Unfortunately, it's a sad situation. For the new directors that came on board, Keegan, Nye, you know, I do know you, but uh, Brian Schmidt, Don Gage, you know, they committed to, they committed to cleaning up the abuse. But then, what do they do? They try to sneak, you know, this was uh, Linda Lazat, Keegan, Nye, you know, it's, they, they hire their own and then they fraudulently try to hide the money they give to other board members. And no offense to Santos and Tony, they deserve it, you know, because either you're giving it to the white boys or very little goes to the minorities, you know. And minorities is probably me also, you know, from people like Frank Fung calling me a stoner and I can mention a whole lot of other names, but we're just going to wait for the video to come out and the mass casualty lawsuit.
How's that for a start? We'll continue later. Anyway, I wanted to continue this video um, before I got uh, killed by homeless. You know, but you can see, you know, it's just a mass, uh, mass. You know, I don't care about any of this stuff, but you know, it's all brought on by the water district's policies, and unfortunately now the city of San Jose. You know, so we got cars back here now. We, you know, people with bolt cutters. You know, let them live somewhere. Quit wasting money on boardrooms that you don't need. Um, you know, salaries. Uh, people in people that lie and want other people to forget what happened. But uh, I don't know. You guys can continue on wasting taxpayers' dollars, or you can. Uh, figure it out, and uh, actually most of you should be impeached, especially Brian Schmidt and Linda Lozat, who even uh, the Mercury News, uh, part of their platform was, oh, we're not going to vote for any of the shenanigans, we're going to change, look how quick Don Gage got out of there, and of course, what's the first thing they do? Actually, they, they do quite a bit of business uh, behind closed doors set of lawsuits. I think 20% of the millions that we give them go to uh, lawsuits. And 3%, 3% for our creeks. And this creek down here even has a force-fed water for whoever wants it. But, um, unfortunately, you know, when you have the old white boy crew that's uh, in San Jose and uh, Santa Clara Valley Water District, you know, nothing gets done except you push problems from one area to the next, or here, or there, and, uh, you know, we just get waste. Waste, waste, waste. Lie, lie, lie. One lie after the another. Santa Clara Valley Water District, City of San Jose. You know, let's just throw them in the trash. Let's lie some more. You know, you guys are almost like Bush. Lie, lie, lie. You know? I feel sorry for all of you. Especially uh, the people in IT. Um, actually, Ravi's getting included in this now. Um, yeah. The truth is not the truth. What are you, Hitler, Ravi? Yeah. Oh my God. You know, it's insane. The truth is not the truth at the water district. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. My God. All right, we'll continue later. So, you know, it's interesting. You know, this used to all be a big field. You know, there was some sort of trails that actually went a little closer to here. And then I think this trail over here was like a dirt trail houses weren't there, train tracks, the old switching station, you know, a few people lived down there, you know, um, Zoe's right across the creek, you know, congressman, and of course, you know, the three people come out and clean this area up, um, but, you know, the funny thing is, is, you know, we make thousands of dollars, you know, for people to live. So, you know, make some thousands of dollars um, to take care of the creek and get the people out of the creek. And uh, actually, yeah, I was down there. There's a little wooden house right over there. But, you know, instead of just throwing $400 million here and there, whatever amount you put to it, spend it on some... Uh, some land, you know, down there, of course, is the dog park, lots of land, or past that, behind 280, you know, but the bigger, probably the better spot, more local to services, would be the airport land, you know, that, nothing that, this area that no one using, where the homeless are at now, Mr. Reed, um, but, you know, to just kick them out of there, you know, they left the creek. Give them some services. You know, Santa Clara Valley Water District could do the same. Then these guys wouldn't be shitting in the creek. 
you know, give them some porta potties, you know, give them some supplies. I bet you they'd uh, clean up the supply, or you know, a lot of them would clean up after the shelves because they're people, unfortunately, um, unemployed by ridiculous government policies uh, at the state, in the city, um, you know, that's just uh, goofing everything up. And, you know, unfortunately, the big fat white cats sit there and make money just like in Congress. And we pay you and nothing gets done or gets wasted, you know. Thousands of dollars for millions. Bogus, how much is it going to cost? 350000 uh oh fungus and uh, common jotty say. $350,000. They need to get more than a consultant. You know, they might want to get some knowledge because uh, just the district's time and the district's electricity or furnishing the conduit and the painting and the woodwork and everything else somebody isn't going to supply is going to be $500,000 too. Especially paying inept people 130 140 bucks an hour. Um, and the bottom line is, 85% of that equipment is digital, is usable, and uh, it's just like everything you surplused. Usable, but now, you know, you don't use all this stuff. You know, it's insane, because, you know, prior practices, you let everybody buy what they want, and tra-la-la, and DDD, but it's all coming to an end pretty soon it should be good but uh, you know the sad thing is you know we have pretty flowers and all that but then we have wasteful government officials you know, that waste waste and more waste I and mean, this creek doesn't even get taken care of, you know? They cut out 12 by 16 cutouts. Actually, one's right here. You know, this one even has adobe walls. Um, and, you know, they just let it... Daisy, come here! Come here! And they just let it uh, rot away. You know, the last flood took this one out. And, unfortunately, it's pretty dark down there, but... You know, there's the cutout, and I, I showed you these pictures before. Um, yeah, you know, it's just seriously eroding. That's why the trees are falling. You know, the biologists and engineers can't figure it out. But hey, I got a BA in, <laughs> in uh, theater and film and uh, production. I can figure it out. I understand what's going on here. What's going on here is money's being wasted. And, uh, you're not fixing the problem, you know? Um, I could get you some pictures of shampoo stations right in the creek. It's a shame. It's a shame that we have to waste taxpayers' dollars, you know, on whatever we're wasting it on. And we'll continue on, you know, with the Santa Clara Valley Water District, the Golden Spigot. So here's the uh, AM uh, site on the other side. and. Uh, there's also a mitigation site over there where there's thousands of people living. But this whole area here, you know, that's was the old HP behind that berm. You know, make it, make it something for the homeless or put them by the airport. But uh, oh, Mr. Reed thinks it's too disgusting to have people over there. You know, maybe Mr. Reed should uh, should see what it's like to be homeless or whatever. You know can't say much for the city but I'm sure they waste money just like the Santa Clara Valley Water District does you know um, tons of money and it's a shame it's, it's, it's really a shame you know you could be processing these people out here fixing them up but you just throw money at uh, a problem that you don't seem to know how to fix you know um, hire me of course you don't want to hire me because when you find out the truth, the truth uh, is going to fire. Actually, I'm not going to be the one firing. 
but the truth, as soon as it, uh, as soon as, uh, well, soon it will happen, very, then we'll see the top fall down from the water district. Top down. And then, you know, now while I'm at it, you know, somebody's going to have to go from the city because, you know, this is what, you know, listening to the mayor, oh, we can't have these homeless people there. And, you know, it's like I, I had my connections at the meeting, the joint meeting. I've been at many joint meetings. You guys just throw money at nothing, you know. <laughs> Let's pick up the trash and move them over here. And now over there. Now they're in a mitigation zone, so we can't do anything about it. Um, you know, all of you, you know, all of you need either some serious schooling or maybe try asking some people that are skilled in this. You know, work with the homeless advocates or the Red Cross or whoever. You know, just help them out, please. You know, <laughs> I'll do the job for a hundred dollars, you know, and uh, tell you a whole bunch of other truth and show you a whole bunch of other videos, um, which uh, will be seen shortly. Anyway, this is the Santa Clara Valley Water District Golden Spigot signing off and uh, San Jose uh, uh, City. Uh, I guess that they'll be evicting them from here. So over and out. So it is pretty funny, you know, over there is the freeway, I'm not sure if you can see it, but there, there's a uh, burnt out structure over there, now they've made it into, um, well I saw somebody moving into it the other night, there is, uh, let's walk over here, there is a, a weight set in there now, and a beautiful hawk just went up into that tree, right there, so there is some nature left out here. There she is. Nice red tail. Did you see her go? Yeah. Um. Of course, this is the area that they cleaned out the other day, the free people. But as you notice, it's all back together again. And if you see over there, they've completely cleared that out. They got all their stuff and they got weights over there, which is fine. But again, you know, the place over here, this guy's got a steel door now in front of his house. I don't know if you can see down in the creek, but there's a hose down there, and it's gravity-fed because the hose is opposite of the flow of the stream, and uh, it's, you know, it brings them fresh water just from the, uh, uh, the force of the water. It goes back up the tube, right between those trees, takes it up, goes up there, goes to their camp. Which, you know, they wouldn't have to be in a camp, but then, of course, it's, uh, you know, the city wasting thousands of dollars, and, and Santa's Cl Santa Clara Valley Water District, the same thing, not thousands, but millions. You know, fix them a place. This park over here was supposed to be a more open space, but, you know, KB Homes in the city decided, oh, even though you voted for open space, we're going to have it as a park. And of course, the rest is a flood zone, but, uh, you know, now, other side of 280, thousands of people, the graffiti, the whatnot is everywhere. And 3% for creeks, 50% for salaries or more, probably both the city of San Jose and Santa Clara Valley Water District and I would imagine their council members, our council members, our government, that's all, that's the name of the game. Lie, 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 lie. The truth is not the truth. The truth is a lie. That's pretty odd. <laughs> anyway, so here we are on the other side of the creek. Um, Again, you know, your cronies that you sent down to clean the place, you know, wouldn't go near any of the encampments, which is understandable. There's shit everywhere. 
you know, because you guys, instead of sending the $400,000 to some good use, you know, you uh, probably line your pockets with it, you know, I mean, look at these cuts, you know, and I can take you down there to other cuts that are just eroding away, you know, uh, cleaning up is one thing, but all you're doing is like what you did in the 30s and 40s, built cement walls, you know, that were the complete wrong thing for the, uh, for what was going on with the creeks, you know, I'm not even sure you're getting it right now, but, uh, um, you know, you have no concept of what to do with the homeless, let alone the creek, um, let alone, um, the garbage around it, and, and, you know, it's ridiculous, you know, and here we are, 50 yards from Congressman Zoe Lofgren's house, you know, I mean, it's a wonder that you guys get funded at all, and it's a wonder, you know, the city is even involved in this, uh, it's pretty kooky, but, Anyway, there's at least some good light here. You got some nice almond trees. But for what the water district's doing for this situation and for what the what the uh, city's doing for this situation, fail, fail, fail. And unfortunately, I can tell you the water district is just pocketing the money, basically. Um, 3% for creeks. <laughs> You might, 20% for lawsuits. And I think, what, 50% for salaries? Crazy. We'll be back. I like this pink tree. We have the sunset. It's an almond tree. So you could have beauty down here. Um, instead, you choose to have shit piles. Or broken glass. <laughs> the stream of destruction. So here we have another 12 by 20 cutout, which is, you know, slowly eroding down the bank. Further on, you know, I've taken pictures of the adobe stuff down there and the erosion, you know. And of course, like I said, you know, your people, your free people, Davey, stop, just came through. And, uh, and Daisy. And so here we are coming back like 45 minutes later. And of course, by the grace of God, the, uh, the, uh, Bobo, come on. The painters have shown up. Or the, uh, the maskers, the maskers of the paint. And I don't know how they get it, but they get it. You know? And, of course, they're doing a pretty good job. Here's a new cart that wasn't here the other day. Bobo! And all the graffiti is being taken down. But just like the trash, we'll be back in a week. And, uh, sad, but that's how it is, you know, it goes, it comes, and it goes, there's stuff over there in the water company, and there's stuff here, there's a nice gold one at the end, and uh, you get the picture. So here we go with another play-by-play -play documentary, um, open space, where all the homeless live, which is, you know, a good thing, but, you know, the city needs to be able to take care of them, you know, as it is, you're probably going to build houses over here, you know, where the dog park is, um, in this space, and, uh, 
you know, it's going to be terrible. You know, what are you going to do with the homeless? Bubba, go. Um, you know, uh, they got to go somewhere. You just can't take 400000 a year and just keep picking up the garbage, you know. Take care of them. Put them somewhere, you know. Um, instead, they got to find places to live, you know, like here and there. Um, help them out, you know. Again, you know, if 20% uh, of the water district's money didn't go to waste, didn't go to waste and uh, uh, you know here, here's a good example back when uh, let's see we went from monitors to LCDs or projectors or whatever um, any unit could buy whatever they want so now there's thousands of projectors um, you know we're supposed to just be doing CRTs but any unit could buy whatever they wanted no matter that there was you know a unit supposed to have stuff so of course, thousands of dollars wasted. Thousands and thousands, millions, every year that I was there. Every year. Every year, waste, waste, and more waste. I mean, it's sort of like this area down here. It's a wasteland. So why don't you uh, fence it in, water district, you own some of this land. Um, fence it in. You know, like under this bridge, put some uh, facilities, the Red Cross, the homeless, whoever it is that, uh, that, uh, that we got to uh, put down here. You know, the homeless advocates, the people that find people jobs, you know, put some uh, latrines in here, um, you know, a soup kitchen. You know, why don't you come to the people in need instead of just settling lawsuits and pocketing the money and uh, whatnot. Um, it's just insane. Just insane. Well, we'll take it up here again. Uh, of course, here we are with all new fresh graffiti that wasn't here last week. Um, you know, but uh, just crazy. 